Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the last problem of lead code weekly contest 343. It's a hard level problem. Okay. Uh, the problem name is lexographically smallest beautiful string. So it says that a string is beautiful if it consists of the first K letters of the English lowercase alphabet and it does not contain any substring of length two or more, which is a palindrome, right? So you are given a beautiful string S of length n and a positive integer k. Return the lexographically smallest substring of length n which is larger than s and is beautiful. If there is no such string, return an empty string. Okay. Now a string a is lexographically larger than a string b, obviously of the same length. If in the first position where a and b differ, a has a character strictly larger than the corresponding character in b. For example, ABCD is lexographically larger than ABCC. Okay. Why? Because if you write ABCC, ABCD. So where is the first difference? These two are same. These two are same. These two are same. These two. This is the first place where their characters differ, right? And you can see here that obviously the SKI value of C is less than D. Hence, this will come first, right? So that is why ABCD is lexographically. This is lexographically larger than a b c c okay this is what the problem is saying so let me take some examples and then explain you what it says so like for example you have a string right this is the given string and this is k this k tells you that okay these many english lowercase characters you have right for example a b c d till z total 26 characters are there right alphabets so this will be given how many uh, alphabets you have okay in your dictionary or whatever you call it right those alphabets you can use to form the string now this already is a beautiful string a beautiful string is basically which contains the first k letters of the english lowercase alphabet that is what i told right k first k letters of the english alphabet and the second thing is it does not contain any substring of length two or more which is palindrome right so that means you cannot have two consecutive letters which are same or three consecutive letters which are same okay why two and three so suppose there is a string, okay, um, I'll, I'll consider two things, right? So a string can be of even length or odd length, right? So what happens when a string is palindrome and is of even length? So the smallest string, uh, which is palindrome of even length is two, right? So suppose you have a, a, so that means two consecutive characters cannot be same. Otherwise, it will be a palindrome of even length, right? Length two. What about an odd length string? So one, two, three, this is the smallest Basically, a single character will can also be considered as, as a palindrome, but obviously you have to use the characters, right? So we consider three characters. So suppose you have A, B, A. So just see, A, B, A, in this case, is the smallest palindrome of odd length, right? So here what is happening? If this is the ith character, so this is equals to the i minus 2th character, okay? So what I mean to say, to satisfy this condition that it does not contain any substring of length 2 or more, you have to check or you have to ensure that whatever string you have, you do not have two consecutive letters which are same or I would say you should not have this relation, right? That the ith and i minus 2th character is same because if if this holds, right, two consecutive characters are same, it's a palindromic substring, right, of uh, even length and if this condition holds that i, i minus 1 and i minus 2, so if this and this are same, so this will give you a palindrome of odd length, right? So this is what you need to avoid. Okay. So this is done. So what it says, you are given a string, you need to form another string, which is beautiful. Okay. Using these characters. So just see A, B, C, Z, this is given, right? Now, what is the, uh, what is the string, which is just larger than, uh, than this string, right? Which is also beautiful. So just see A, B, C, Z, right? Generally, whenever you get these type of questions to just uh, to, to get the smallest string, which is lexicographically larger. So that means in a dictionary, when you sort them, that particular word comes just after this, right? So the shortest thing, uh, the, the, the quickest way is you traverse from right to left, right? Why? Suppose you have A, B, C, D, right? And suppose you have A, B, C, C. If you consider these two strings, right? If you sort them, then obviously in the dictionary, this will come first and this will come just after it, right? And you see one, two, three, these three characters are same. This is where they differ, right? And these are consecutive 
letters right these are conjugate conjugative characters c and d so obviously they you cannot have any character between them right so after a b c c you will have a b c d in the dictionary okay these three are same and this is where it differs and you do not have any character after it so whenever you have uh, whenever you have to satisfy this type of condition you move from right to left and you try to update the character from right to left okay let's take this example so suppose here you have a b c z okay and you can use all the 26 characters so now if i want a string larger than this so just see i'm standing at the 26th character right like z is the 26th character so i want a string larger than this so i'll i'll increase it when i increase it what it becomes it becomes a b c a right now what happens obviously this string is smaller than the given string but i want a larger string so in this case what happens you don't update it you will update it but don't update it right now let's move to the next character like for example from a b c z let's move to this character okay we will find the first character where i can increment okay increment the character by by some positions right i i, I don't want a cyclic relation right now it will make things complex right what i'll do a b c z so i cannot increment z so let's try to increment c that will it be possible so a b c z this cannot be incremented if i increment this it becomes a b d z right this is what i get so this is a beautiful string but is this is this the smallest beautiful string which i have no right because you have z can't you replace it with a so you get a b d a right in short you had a b c z you were not able to increment it so you moved to this position because we are moving from right to left now as soon as you increment it you get a b d now all the characters which are here right all the characters which are here i have to make them as small as possible right because i want the smallest string which is larger than the given string right so why should i have z here i'll have something like this right a b a a something like this obviously i since i cannot have consecutive a's otherwise it will not make the string beautiful right it will be palindrome so in short i have to start from a and keep on putting the smallest character which is possible hence it will be a b d a okay getting it how how we got a b d a this is how you get okay let's take that dc dc and you can only use four characters so a b c d these are the only four characters you can use right because k equals to four now what happens so just see can i increment it yes if i increment it it becomes dd but this is making the string palindrome so that that means you cannot increment it right you cannot increment it otherwise it will make the string palindrome now can you further increment it if you further increment it you get e but e is not in your dictionary right you can only use a b c d so that means c cannot be updated so you move to the next character okay it's d can you increment it no you cannot because you have only four characters in your string right a b c d so if you increment it you get e which is not possible so it means that this is the largest beautiful string that you have in your dictionary right that you have in your dictionary hence you will return an empty string here right this is this is what what we have to do so in short again if i talk about the algorithm just see the constraints the length of the string can be 10 raised to 10 raised to power 5 and obviously k uh, can have a maximum value of 26 okay so whenever you have a string right whenever you have a string you move from right to left and you find the first place where you can increment the string right where you can increment the string by one position two positions doesn't matter right like for example if you um, i'll take suppose just a second suppose i take an example like this that i have a c d e f something like this and suppose k equals to seven <clears throat> just taking an example right now what happens what are the characters that you can take you can take a b c d e f g <clears throat> right so let's insert c d g e f <clears throat> let's make this okay so now what happens these are the seven characters that you can use let's take this example okay so you start from this position can you increment it okay when you increment it from f you can go to g so if you go to g what happens this changes to c d g e g but just see this is palindrome right so you will not increment it can you further increment it no g is the last character in your dictionary so you move to this position so c d g e f you move to e okay can you increment e so after e you get f 
so if you make it it becomes f f getting it it becomes f f so this thing is sorted this thing is sorted c d g f okay now if i talk about this part i want this to be the smallest right smallest substring so i start placing a b c whatever is the uh, valid characters that is what i i start placing okay and whenever i place a character here or either i place i update this character or i update these characters all i need to check is if this is the ith position it should not be equal to i minus 1 position or it should not be equal to i minus 2 position because of the same thing i explained to you right because it can be otherwise it will give you an odd odd length or even length uh, uh, palindromic string right so let me show you the code right let me show you the code so this code is very simple uh smallest beautiful string the code that i wrote what was obviously a little uh, much i would say relatively complex that what i am showing here so uh, this code is i think contributed by cpcs so this was a great solution that is why i thought i'll share it with you so this 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 one is the one of the best solutions that i i, I saw so what happens in this case <laughs> my code is much larger than this one okay so what i have done um i the, the algo is same what do, what do you do you will uh, convert the string into uh, this what do you call it a character array why because i'll be updating the string in place okay then i'll see what is the limit limit means suppose your k equals to 7 so that means what is the uh, highest character that you can take so a b c d e f g so g so that is why g is your limit okay that's what i have done okay now this is the number of characters you have now as i told you we'll move from right to left okay and then we'll find first valid character this is a function that we have written okay in this we'll pass our character array we'll pass the current position at which i am standing we'll pass the limit and we will pass the we'll pass uh, a character which is one step greater than the current character for example if i have a b c d and i'm standing here so i'll pass e here because e is the first character that if i increment d is the e is the first character or the first candidate which should be placed here okay now what this function does obviously it accepts the character array the position at which you are standing the limit and the current candidate okay so again no initialization condition and just see what it is checking you have to run the loop okay now if c is less than equals to limit and you have more than one character okay you have more than one character so what happens if the current candidate so i want to place e suppose i want to place e here so i am checking that if e is equals to the previous character that means if i is greater than equal equal one that means you have one uh, one character just behind it and if that is equals to e okay or if you if your length is uh, if i is greater than 2 that means you have two characters behind it and if this character the candidate is equals to i minus 2 with character so what you will do this candidate is not a valid candidate right so if e is forming a pair either with the previous one or previous previous one this is not a valid candidate so you you increment your candidate right so from e you go to f okay you keep on doing this you keep on doing this until you find a valid character okay until you find a valid character finally you return c okay that's what it is happening now whatever we receive we check that is this less than equals to limit why we check it because suppose i pass z okay i pass z here and suppose at the previous position i also had z so the ascii value of z is i'm talking about small z it's 122 so that means it will be incremented to 123 okay and 123 will be returned which is not a valid character so that's why i'm checking because i can go out of range right i i can go out of range of k right so that's why so if c is less than limit that means i have got a valid character so what i'll do i'll place the candidate at the ith position so that's what i'm doing str of i equals to c place the candidate at the ith position now if this is the position you updated so after this update all the characters on the right hand side right you were moving like this this is the character you updated so now you just need to update these characters okay what you do I, uh, you do plus plus i because the ith character has been updated here. Now I'll be updating from i plus oneth character, so i plus one to n characters. And again, I'll call the thing okay, same function. Find first valid character. And here, what I'll do, I'll pass the string, I'll pass the position, I'll pass the limit, and I'll pass a because at every position I will try to uh, place the smallest possible candidate. And the smallest possible candidate is a, right? 
right so every time you pass a here if a is valid you will be getting a if b is valid you will be getting b okay in short you will be getting the smallest character for example if you uh, update this this position right right now you have placed a here the next time when you call the same function with a you will not be getting a you will be getting b because it will check right it, it will check that if my candidate is a is he equals is it equals to the previous character so in that case if you place a here it will be previous to the equal to the previous character and hence this increment will happen and then you will you'll check for b so b is not equals to a hence b will be returned right so you do it for all the characters finally what happens uh, finally uh, since you have five you have found it right you have found it so that means you return a string dot value of the character array because we have updated the character array okay this is what you do now if if in case you are not able to find any position where you can increment it so what in that case what we'll do if you are not able to find anything so what we'll do we'll return an empty string okay and that's it that's it for this problem so in short the crux of the problem is given a string move from right to left because you'll you'll find the first rightmost character where you can increment it okay where as soon as you increment it okay by checking the conditions that two consecutive characters or a skip character cannot be same otherwise you will get a palindromic substring of even or odd length and after this all the characters you need to uh, basically update it with the smallest possible character like starting from a b c d whatever whatever is the valid character at that particular position right so yeah i, I hope you learn something new from this video in case you have any queries mention that in the comment section also if you like the video support it by giving up a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel uh, it helps me keep motivated and yeah I'll, I'll see you in the next video take care bye bye